Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. And today we are going to play with IS-6 and we will try to make this monster work. Or I suppose to say quite outdated tank work. A quick information for every and each of you. Drops are coming back pretty much from July 10th. So today uh, to September 4th. Uh, you can get plenty of the stuff such as 3D camos, couple of the tier 5 shitters and many many other stuff. It's free. Feel free to tune in into the stream and feel free to say hi. And obviously there is plenty of the streamers you can watch. It doesn't necessarily need to be me just to get this out of the way. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we can do in this game. So first of all, IS-6 is tier 8 uh, uh, Soviet premium heavy tank, right? nothing unusual here. We are playing in the safe heaven standard battle against the tier uh, 8s, which is very, very nice. By the way, this tank have pref much making. That means you will never see the tier uh, um, 10 tanks unless you will platoon with someone who doesn't play with a premium much matchmaking tank all and all gun 390 alpha damage 196 millimeters of penetration kind of slow shell velocity if you are loading gold your penetration is up to 225 which is not very great to be completely honest with you but you have a choice to do so and right here boys and girls ladies and gentlemen we are going to show the dominance against buzzer 176 we are going to look at him as a meta tank and we will simply say that's what we are going to do. How about that, fellas? How about that? Test 5 wants to go here, so I will give a bit of the protection for him because enemies cannot penetrate my side, and in the same time, um, this test 5 is going to have a, a beautiful time sitting here. Beautiful, very, very nice. Now, in order to penetrate IS-6, we pretty much need to penetrate his cupola, or we need to load the gold in order to do so, which is uh, which is obviously doable, but I prefer not to do so. Meanwhile, no cupola shot. By the way, surprisingly, this gun handling is not that horrible as many people might think it is. And by the way, this Baza, he won't enjoy this. We are going to say hello for this Baza, and this Baza will say, How does this IS-6 beating the living crap out of me? Well, true to be told, uh, good armor for this tank. It's not that simple to penetrate IS-6, especially whenever you are playing with the derp guns, right? And as you can see, Baza feels clueless. Baza is thinking, wait a second. Every single person in this world, they are promoting this tank as a broken tank, and I got messed up by IS-6. The thing is, Baza, fellas, speaking where Baza goes, uh, Baza has a bit of the problems, and Baza's biggest problem is when you are actually meeting the tank which has a decent uh, armor such as IS-6, you know? And believe me or not, the platform of IS-6 is still okay to this day, right? What is not so okay is the gun penetration. If this tank would have a tiny touch more penetration, I would say IS-6 could go very, very, very high. And one more thing, quick... Uh, should I spoil this? Okay, fine, here, uh, here you go. We are having very, very important video, which is coming up soon, uh, this week for sure. And that video has something to do with the tracking mechanics, right? Uh, so this is information for you, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and um, there are some things which 99% of the World of Tanks players have been done wrong, okay? Uh, this is extremely important thing to highlight. By the way, speak speaking about this situation, Kava 4 Katatasa can eat me alive. He has 299 millimeters of penetration or 289 millimeters of penetration. He can actually eat me alive. And there is not much what thing, uh, there is not many things what I can do for him. Apart obviously not peeking. This tank is powerhouse where, uh, where the um, gun goes. This is very important thing to highlight. As you can see, he's penetrating me all the time. It doesn't really matter. I'm side scrapping. I do not side scrap. It makes absolutely zero difference. And this is what is so powerful against... Uh, um, and this is what is so powerful whenever you have a gun 
uh, which simply has a humongous penetration. This armor doesn't matter. The cover for Katadasa is just simply chewing on uh, on my soul. He's eating my heart, and there is absolutely nothing what I can change about this, and there is absolutely nothing what I can do about this either. Now, we are going to get relatively decent position here, and we will try to punish this guy. Not so simple as you can see. And I'm trying to reverse side scrap to the certain extent, and I'm trying to be the living crap out of this son of the banana. This is very, very, very complicated situation to deal with him. Although, we are going to be fine. We are going to be fine, fellas. As you can see, cover 4 Katatasa can actually work in the certain situations and cover 4 Katatasa can be a very, very decent tank. And in fact, fellas, I lately related cover 4 Katatasa in the index page. This is information for you. Now with IS-6, the easiest way to deal with him is obviously to be the living crap IS-6 via the... We are the turret, right? You do not really need to have a uh, gold ammunition loaded or something. You are feeling completely fine with the standards. And the very first game was quite entertaining for me just because we showed that Bazel who is the boss. But after that, I made a mistake by trying to mess with Kava 4 Katatasa. It is just simply not the smart uh, um, approach to the tank, right? With, whenever you are playing with IS-6, you do not want to approach tanks which can easily penetrate you, right? the tanks with a humongous penetration with a standards or with a gold, and tanks which has armor. You want to chew on the medium tanks or even less armored um, heavy tanks, the tanks which you can overmatch, and so on, so on. You do not want to mess with the cover for Katadasa. You just simply don't. Um, and that was my misplay in this game. All in all, 2.3 thousand damage, 100 assisting damage, far away from being ideal, but that's what we have. 2. Mm, Plus on top of that, we are second on the leaderboard, 950 experience or so, and we made 79,000 credits, uh, credits, although most of the credits are coming for completing mission. We are okay, let's go for around number two, and let's ma make this bad boy work. It will, fellas. I want to have 3,000 on average with this tank. Let's see. Okay, for around number two, we have very, very complicated situation. We are playing, uh, um, I don't, I do not really like this pawn, first of all, and we are playing against the tier 9s and tier 7s. Tier 7s are not a big deal, but tier 9s are, right? Um, and this is going to be quite, um, quite a journey to beat them. But you know what? We are not going to cry. We are just going to take our balls in the hand and we are going to make it work. Now, what kind of options do we have in this game? And I think only one option which we have is to play somewhere around this area. I think this is the proper play and this is the best play which we can make. Meanwhile, obviously, we need to be afraid of the T-30 uh, and, over and overall, we need to be afraid of the tanks which uh, has a decent penetration, right? Plus, on top of that, Chrysler is a bit pain in the ass as well. Uh, that being said, this guy has um, quite a bit of armor, right? So that is the worst part for all of us. But you know what? Look at this beauty. We found the T-30. By the way, I can overmatch his turret. I'm pretty sure about this. Although, RNG says no. That's okay. Sometimes RNG can say no. And there is not much what you can change about this. Meanwhile, 50 TP just shed his pants a bit. But we will try to be the living crap him right into his forehead. And we are okay, fellas. We are okay. For now, we are just chilling. We are having a great time. And we are trying to find the decent angles to punish enemies. Oh, how unlucky I am. Okay, I just got scammed on the couple of shots there and there. But you know what? Justice Day is coming. <laughs> not today. Fellas, not today. Boys and girls, ladies. Oh! Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this T-30 is... Wow! I have a feeling I was a bad boy, fellas. I have a feeling I was a bad boy. That's why I am getting punished uh, this way. I do not really think I can say absolutely anything else than that. Wow. Um, this is this is pure luck by the T-30 side. You know, we are aiming uh, all right. 
I know what I can overmatch and I know what I can penetrate. I know how angles works as well, but uh, not much what we can change there. I'm being a bit greedy, but that's okay. Uh, being greedy is not that bad in uh, some situations. And now we are going to eliminate the T-30, who's supposed to be dead long time ago, right? I'm paying attention at the other T-30 as well whenever he's going to peek. And I'm paying attention at the tier 7. Oh, yummy, 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 yum. Thank you. 300 in the face. And we are booming here. Looks like we have better team than enemy team is, right? Uh, so that being said, we need to figure out the way how we can be a tiny touch more aggressive in order to get more use, right? This tank doesn't have the best... Um, the best gun depression by any shape or any form, right? And it is a bit of the problem to fa to play in the West Field. West Field is the map where you want to have as much gun depression as possible. And in this kind of situation, once again, uh, but this tank is far away from being perfect in this kind of situation, right? Plus on top of that, speaking about matchmaking, matchmaking is far away from being ideal either. But you know what? We are going to push this as much as we physically and possibly can, and hopefully we can get a nice side shot to this T30. Yes, we can. Nice. Now, uh, Chrysler. Chrysler is down to fartable, so I don't really care about him. I care about the medium tanks and about uh, um, remaining tank destroyers who are hiding somewhere in the bushes. That's what I care about. Once again, this game could have been significantly better if RNG would actually allow us to penetrate the T30 forehead, but it is how it is. Beggars cannot be choosers. We need to accept it and we need to say thank you very much for what we have, right? Um, is the IS-6 outdated uh, nowadays? To be completely honest with you, in certain situations, definitely yes. There is nothing to say about it, just yes. Just because of this penetration and... Um, it's the penetration is the biggest problem of this vehicle if penetration would actually be decent of this tank i would say uh this beautiful magnificent gentleman would sit very 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 um, high in the leaderboard or maybe higher in the leaderboard if let's say the gold penetration would be 270 you know and the standard penetration 220 so you do not need to um load that much gold that's what i think and once again, you know, in the same time, I probably can blame myself for not shooting that much of the gold ammunition. Well, maybe for a last game, we are going to make an exception. Who knows? Let's teleport to the end of this game and let's see how we scored. And we are back, fellas. With the first class, I believe we are top by experience, but we are far away from being top by the damage, which is uh, which is fair enough and uh, it's clear in my opinion. Uh, we are fourth by the damage, right? We made 59,000 credits uh, without shooting all the ammunition, and that was that was the okay choice. Although once again, uh, the gun treated me very very badly in this kind of situation. Thank you, IS6. Next. And the last but not least, we have a game on the steps and counter battle tier 9 matchmaking again. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. What we are going to do here, we are going to play in the heavy line. Hopefully we can hold the enemies, hopefully we can beat the living crap out of them. And obviously there is alternative option such as just to go, okay, none of our heavy tanks are going here. We have only M103, I do not like it. Okay, I changed my mind instantly because I was, I was feeling like I want to play here, but I do not want to do that just because pay attention how many enemies look how many heavy tanks do we have over there right uh imbt is saying i will cross through the middle of the field he will die m103 is getting farmed as well and he has only two triangles as a support which is far away from being ideal it's just it's just far away from being ideal fellas so instead of doing that we will try to be the living crap out of the enemies who are sitting in the base hopefully we will be good enough to spank them right and I get the point, sometimes it looks weird, why wouldn't you go uh, to, the, um, to the heavy side, but if your team clearly refuses to do so, it's just simply not the great idea, and it's just, uh, you know, you are going to be the face space filler until enemies will come to you and they will mess you up. It's just simply not worth it. Using this time, 
we are going to make quite a bit of pressure over there. Hopefully everything will be fine and hopefully we can get uh, some assisting damage, some damage dealt as well, right? That's what we are looking for. That is what we are looking for. Let's do this. Our idea is to go up front. Mm, chair footer sniping from behind. Not a big surprise. That's okay. Let's try to cross like this. And now we are gaming. In fact, for this game, I am going to load a bit of the APCRs just to make enemies uh, uh, happy. How about that? How about that? Let's take our time to punish this gentleman. Beautiful. Very, very nice. And our Skoda did quite some bad trades. Our Skoda is saying, oh, F me. Yeah, exactly, my man. It happens. It happens once in a while. This is this is called autoloader syndrome, my man. This is exactly what happened. Autoloader syndrome. Meanwhile, we are holding this position as much as we can. And at the same time, we are fighting against the enemy squad sitting here as well. It's not like we are, we are just hiding behind the corner. Right? Good. Very, very nice shot for this um, T832. I hope our team can eliminate him from the game. And if not, maybe I can. Okay. Very, very, very nice. How about this test 5? Now test 5 is the biggest problem for us. What I want to do, I want to hit him into cupolas for obvious reasons. By the way, pay attention to what is happening here. This guy wants to get involved and we can give a piece of us as well for this gentleman. No test 5, how are you doing this fine day? The thing is, the distance between us and test 5 is very, very close. That being said, we do not have that much of the hustle to uh, hit his cupola, right? And this is exactly what we are looking for. This is exactly what we need to see. Now, gun depression of this tank is far away from being ideal. That being said, um, we need to be we need to be smart. How, what kind of approach we are making and what we are doing here? I know that this chair footer is asking for it. He said, skill, uh, do you mind to hit me once or twice? I would love to see that. I am paying attention at this IMBT and since he is saying hit me in the balls, I uh, I will do that with a big pleasure. Now, Mr. Test 5, how to deal with you? Hmm? How to deal with you, Mr. Test 5? Oh, cupola shot, hi. Not a good shot by me, fellas. This could have been significantly better. And now we have uh, uh, people who are making quite a bit of pressure here. That is okay. We are going to eliminate the test 5. And now we are going to go and say hello for this uh, Tiger 2. While Char Futur is on the reload. Because I'm pretty sure Char Futur is reloading at this point. We're aiming for the lower plate. Beautiful shot to the lower plate. And we are doing everything fine. Remember my prediction before when I said enemy team is going to eliminate the heavy line like there is no tomorrow just because how many heavies there are yes you can see this is exactly what happened this is not a bad score um considering how this game have went fellas i do not feel bad by any shape or any form how i play this game Obviously, it is not going to be an easy victory or victory at all, but we need to survive as much as we physically and possibly can. That's what we need to do at this point. He fired once, that's okay, that's what we know. The Char Futur is sitting here, Indian is sitting here, Char Futur shot once again, we are trying to spank him. Obviously, we know about the Lova, which is getting closer here, which is not a good thing. We need to point our gun to the Lova, hopefully he won't be able to penetrate us, but he did. What a beautiful game this was. Fellas, I am happy how I played this game just because uh, just because I knew in the heavy line we have no choice or no chance, I suppose to say, to deal against the enemy forces, right? And our team actually has uh, quite a bit of the chance to win this. So fingers crossed for our team and let's see did they won or not so much. All in all, it is okay. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we have 4.5 thousand damage, 2,000 assisting damage. Uh, we are first by experience. We are second by the damage. I love this name. Look, this is a noob.
<laughs> I hope that helps in the game. Well, it clearly helps. Maybe people are not targeting him, right? Uh, and all in all, I would say our our uh, game was kind of successful with IS6. First two games we are rusty, but after that the things went significantly better, and we made uh, pretty much sixty thousand profits for this tank. If we are excluding the battle payments from the clan, right? We have played three games with this beautiful, magnificent bastard, and our performance wasn't bad, fellas. We played for 4,000 combined, right? And I know you want to see all games. You want to see not the finest games and everything. And I respect that, and I present that to you as well. Um, the thing is, IS-6 would be completely fine tank if there wouldn't be better tanks. <laughs> Does it make sense, fellas? It would be a nice tank if it would be one tank in the world of tanks. Now, for real, what IS-6 is missing, at least in my humble opinion, IS-6 is missing better penetration. With a better penetration, IS-6 would be decent tier 8 heavy tank and you would be able to destroy the lower tiers. And by the way, speaking very much making goes, in our session we haven't gotten a single uh, tier 6 uh, or tier 7 matchmaking. Well, we had tier 9, tier 7, but it's not the same, right? Anyways, fellas, I hope you had a great time and I hope you enjoyed yourself together with us. Uh, if you did, remember to like the video, leave the comment down below and take care. Skill is out for today. Peace.